Hello everyone. Welcome back. Get this changed over. Um, today we're, we're playing against Sizox. We're doing some NKFL sealed. It should be a ton of fun. And what we're doing for that is, um, if you've seen the other ones, is we will be doing um, standard Nordic Hex Head sealed, and I have to take a second look at their decks. Once we've done that, we will play three games with the four decks that are left. So first we ban. Sizelax is looking for hopefully to be a little bit expedient. So they've got one DT. Got some good decks. Sizelax has some really good decks. Um, I think we're just gonna kind of do an eye test here and go off of that. It's redacted. Oh, cool. Um, three o'clock. I think we will ban this one, Hasita. Uh, and we're gonna save Founder. Is that the right choice? Not entirely sure, to be perfectly honest. I know Founder is fairly good and can have good matchups. See if I can turn the whip cam on here. So they saved Kindroth, which is that, yeah. That DT looks really good. Um, after that, I think we're back in... Ban Jacqueline. Uh, and then we'll pick up um, the band expert though. And we'll just pick up, um, I have to look at my own decks. Deep Candy, the world's Clyde. Like this will place it, the uh, DT. Oh, they sent me a game link. The 
these will all be shifted over here so they're not in the way. Otherwise, they're distracting. Your deck is selected. We'll select Citro. How's the spell? Sit, okay. There we go, it's good to go. Size X has been busy. Yep. Keep. Don't know if this deck actually has um, a lot of R and ER. Has a poltergeist. That's pretty good. So I have to watch out for that. So we've got a Dust Imp and an Amber Imp. Call it Shadows here. Put out Id. Don't know if they have any important artifacts, to be honest. Library of Babel and Sigil of Brotherhood. Nothing crucial there. We can get by with um, without that R. I think. Cut some Martyr's End. Mm -hmm. What does Martyr's End do again? That's a lot of rush there. I think we just have to let them forge there. the tide protect our tama then fighting is actually pretty interesting I see it, I see it. We can draw three here off the uh, waste knot. Play Schuler. 
they do we don't get Amber from the Jeweler though, that's nice. So here I think we will go. Nope. So first we wanna what? We want to In fighting. Capture on the guilt spine netcaster. Put that here. Play waste not. Enrage those two. Enrage that one. Throw it back over. So then here we'll go unfathomable. Take the archives back in our hand. Um, got the Valcanth out. Tama. Under pressure this chow. And we'll exhaust their That way they don't just crash it. Pretty close game. This uh, first key for me has been pretty very back and forth. the week probably taking out foul or gear, gear guild spine yep i think that sounds pretty reasonable and then they're playing yerk they discarded cutthroat research fought tom of the glow we do forge our key here And I think we want to go um, shadows, and that'll give us we'll have to see what we get here. We can get think get good value with the curve wall up. So here we go, Shadows. Move the stun. And assert dominance here. We'll go underneath. And then we booby trap obeyed. That was our rush. The Dubax Researcher. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good too. 
sort of inclined here to um, bounce at all. I feel like going unfathomable. So we'll go unfathomable, and we'll basically this is basically just saying that we don't they not getting any of their um a. We'll play this. Play our maelstrom. That's just ready and fight with one creature. No. If I got us to check, I would consider it though. Standardized testing is there is very good for them. Keep this in hand, actually. in hand. Could be a really good C. And I think we might just need it. The pip up here is annoying, but the but the um, youngest bear here could be really nice. Yeah, because this way the infighting will kill... We'll steal one and we'll reap. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. So we go in tamed. We can't do that. But we'll, in fighting, steal one because of the Hard Simpson. Oh, right. So we go cancel. Eldest Bear. Flume. Good. Poltergeist on the ritual balance. Banish my eldest bear. Yeah. Charette, nice. Yerk. You just card in there. Replicator. 
Well, here we go, shadows. Action. That was bad. I forgot I had that in my hand. Bank. Sigil of Brotherhood, yeah. Is that the right play? I don't know. That seemed kind of seemed. That kind of seemed kind of alluded to me. It should have played Booby Trap first. Man, Elbeat is so annoying. So here we can actually just go untamed. We get the youngest bear, we get eldest bear out. Steal one, gain two. They've done a really good job of keeping me off check so far for this last key. Archiving their discard. They no. Okay. GG. So go here. It was three to one. Um, I'm going to pick this one. Yeah, I think we'll pick um, Founder. So pick founder. Password is NKFO. We're picking founder.
Bag and business. We're all good. Come on. Get the dragger down. Super, super familiar with what their deck has. I have to go back and look at it. Which one is this? Kendrith. No DT. Yeah, oh, this is their this is their uh, reckless their uh, Doctor Veractor deck. Oh my goodness, no way! Um, well, we'll call this here. Soul Fiddle doing, app, doing so much work here against Dr. Vroctor, Dr. Vroct unironically. As long as we can keep creatures in the board, they can't read. They would think twice or anything like that? No. It's a really, really good. Uh, it's a really good TT though. Mm -hmm. So here we go, Sanctum. We get the Scrivener down on the right. Map Prophet gives a heart. We'll just do this and fight. Let's do that one. Kirkar. Comes officer, gross. Okay, gross. Um. Like I didn't even notice that. This is a really, really sweet deep dark tidings deck. Man, this is a really sweet dark tidings deck. Like it a lot. Hings is draw run, right? Yeah. So really you wanna see um Hings first to go get gross. Hmm. 
No, they're one of the hangs on beside the. Yeah. That's good. It's a good placement. Well, either way, we just go dis. And we reap. And we fight. We have section ability. is really good there. You can banish their gross. We can just banish these two actually. We'll go Sanctum here. We'll reap. Pop that so they don't get their amber back. Mad Profile Gizzleheart is, is still hard to deal with. Do we discard Sandra Quintina? Yeah. I thought I thought um potion of vulnerability was like uh, lucky dice. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, well, we will go Sarian. Charybdis, Caliotops, Sedaner Quintina, to move this to There we go. So now if they fight, they lose one, and if they, um... Oh, we shouldn't have done that. I forgot they got strip troubles in here. Oh, he's oak. How is it going? Playing some NKFL sealed against Sizox. And, um... This is a pretty good Dark Tidings dex. Or two that uh, Sizox had, and um, this is a groundbreaking discovery, Doctor Proctor one that he has, and uh, we're gonna double in furnace it all away on the next turn. Yeah, strip trouble. Oh, okay. 
Um, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. So here we go. Dis. Bring that to Lana's creeper. Go left. We want to enrage their Valmart. Play the first in furnace. Pick opponents. Take their groundbreaking discovery. Take their Dr. Rocker. Play this in furnace. Left, capturing that on to Gives a heart. Pick opponents. Get rid of Hings. And get rid of Scooped. And then we play Anguish on the left as well. That's a pretty nasty, um... I made them lose more amber, but I'm more interested in making sure the, uh... Dark Discovery doesn't actually ever go off. And, um... I don't think there's anything that, um... Valmart can fight into. Yeah, and we also have, we also have Quintina on the board, so I don't necessarily want to be reaping while Quintina's out. So that's a, I think a good play there. The next turn, I can crash Quintina into yeah, it's a rooftop laboratory. Crazy. To big mind bolts. That's a big mind bolts. Well, we'll call Sarian again. Reap here. There, there. Capture onto this guy tops. Capture onto Scylla. And we're at check there. Let's see what that can do for us now. I wonder, I do wonder if we're ever actually going to be able to forge a key this, uh, this game. Check it on theory, Omni, gain one that's so strong. This Swevin really should not, this is a Voltron Swevin over there. Gotops only goes four, right? That's way too much damage over there. So I think we call it dis. I think we just we enrage this weapon. Everyone's going to be enraged. This weapon, because just way too much. Um, That'll treat us better. There we go. This Voltron Swevin does scare me. Suddenly get old get on it and uh I 
don't know how many scientists they have. But it's too many. I'm glad the um, Infernus has purged out their rooftop laboratory pieces now, especially because that's um, with this sort of efficiency, them turning it over, rooftop laboratory and stuff out, not good. Australia Seaborg, gotcha. Well, this is a bit more of a one-sided game. Guess we go Saurian. That capture under Thero Centurion. So many Galliotopses. Do I even want, like... My dude. And then the Swevin gets to reap. So we, don't, we didn't even get a chance to touch the Swevin there. And this is crazy. I guess that's the power of two Officer's Blasters and a Light of the Archons onto a uh, Swevin. I'm really glad they brought Light of the Archons back in Dark Tidings. I think it's such a cool upgrade. Yeah. Positron Bolt. Yeah, I come off Sir Hing's purged. Gross is lonely. Well, we can try here, but I don't think we can, uh, I don't think we can win. Play an Aphiel. Purge Galliotops. Equalize. Say GG. Good game. And now, presumably, that was a 3 to 1. 3 to 1. And now we can select our deck for a third game, which is either going to be um, Petunia, Hawkeye Hawkfang, or Deep Ganny, the Groom Trader. I have a feeling it'll probably be Deep Ganny, but um, this is pretty fun too. This is a horseman and double routine jobs. This is 10.0, they're really stressing the zero here on this uh, Texas Keyforge. Along with the Mother Gone, Hollow Blaster, Lungfuse Mine, Special Delivery. I think I'll go with Deep Ganny. I think Deep Ganny is a pretty, pretty interesting one. Um, didn't have super good luck, get luck, luck against it against with uh, against flocks, but um, I think it's I think it's the right choice. I think it'd be fun. Which is the main reason I am playing this playing in this league is to have fun with some seal decks. You don't get to play this one very often, so I think this will be good. I have to leave the game as well. Let's see if Sysox has made a game. Don't see one.
So they have left. They have expert that exposes sorcery. And Pella Dura. So they'll probably pick this one. This one does look also pretty pretty good. This one uh, not too bad either though. That's cool. What do they pick? Expert that exposes surgery. Interesting. I don't think it's necessarily wrong. I think there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Passers MKFL, all lowercase. Deep Guinea. Alright, give him the good luck, have fun. Let's see what we can do. Keep going first, we'll um, play with this hot fellow. And I think that should be pretty good. Subtle Mall, Breaker Hill. Breaker Hill's just allies, right? So do we just they have a lot of Breaker Hills in here though, right? So what do we want to oobly at? If we're looking to oobly at something, what are we oobly adding? Running wrist clocks? Yeah, we're probably looking to oobly at our running the running wrist clocks. So we'll go logos. Play that, play that. Reap, tuck away our oubliette. And this is elusive anyways, correct? Yeah, so. Would have been a would have been a uh, bit of a punt, that's annoying. What is safety numbers? Go shadows. Yeah. Get out of here. Gambling done comes down. Easy peasy. Um, I'm not excited to go back into Logos when two of the creatures are stunned. Once we get a larger hand of Logos, we'll go for it. But this time we're, um, we are definitely going for the Gambling Den. Gambling Den has to happen. So we're gambling denning and we're calling So it's an even split between Shadows and Untamed. We just drew Untamed, so I'm gonna call Shadows. Oh oof. King of Ant. Oh, should have chosen Untamed. Oh well. Say that be.
One second, I need one second here. I am back. My apologies. Uh, we do gambling den. And this time we shadows. Ooh! E! Nice. You hear that? We won. We gambled correctly. Worth it. Always worth it to gamble. That's what they teach you in school. So we go Logos, we have a stun, Data Forged, Engineer, deal two damage different. So we get two damage here, and we'll do two damage here. Got that on the right, Pocky Universe. So much purging. Okay. So they're going shadows. And we're gonna get subtle mauled. Bruh. Getting discarded out the wazoo. Man. So here we go. We got the gambling den. We're going to to gas untamed. 
you've got to be kidding me. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to go attempt. Um... And we reap. And we unnatural selection. To keep you, you, you. And they'll keep this one, this one. This one. Oh, uh, to that's bad because the brand. Oh. That was a genuine place. That's a genuine misplay. Okay. Well, we live and we learn. Well, they'll get to steal three. And uh, we will be... We'll be doing something here. Exactly what, I'm not entirely sure. But at least we'll be um, doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gambling dining again, and we're betting untamed. untamed. Gotta be kidding me. Uh, <laughs> we are not having a good tracker here. Um, we're gonna go logos. We're gonna reap. And discard Chimera Eclipse. We're gonna reap, hide. Wait, where is our? Did he purge? Fill him. Oh, did he get archived? Pocky universe. And we'll archive. Look at that, just outside of reach. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We are down to zero amber. They are at eight in one key. And we're at no keys, one amber. I'm beginning to get the distinct feeling that Deep Ganny is not nearly as uh, playable as it looks on paper. Playing it feels terrible. So the SAS numbers, while maybe you tr are true, does not feel or play like a 70 with those numbers. In fact, it feels and plays rather poorly. So we're going to call Untamed again. Okay, we actually did win that one. Um, so we'll draw one, two, three, four, have one. So I guess we'll go untamed. No. Well, Song of the Wild. Do Song of the Wild first. Harmonia.
Let's do like this. One, two, three. Play the harmonia. Play the fog of eye. It would have been quite the play to return their Infernus back to their hand. I don't know if it would have been a good play or a bad play. Probably a bad play. But it would have been a play. Hey, buddy. Yeah, hello. Hello. Oh, and the Infernus, too. Adding insult to injury here. You know, you could at least have the courtesy of, of banishing from their own. Nature's Call and Data Forge? Rude. It's okay. They're gonna show. We're gonna show Sizox, and we will steal two with Manchigo. Yeah, pretty good. But we forged a key. That's the most important part. And then we're gonna call Shadows. Take our archives into our hand. Harmonia is still on the board. So we play Manchigo. We Harmonia first. And then we... Breaker Hill on the left, and we... Run the left, and Bad Penny we will discard. We only draw one though, so it won't actually reshuffle our deck. It's kind of awkward. They have both the Infernuses out though, so that is at least that taken care of. Oh! Gambling Den was not kind to me this game. Gambling Den is fun, first and foremost. Yeah, I know it's very late for Sizox. So... That'll be it. I lost one to two. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace, everyone.